Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Alan from Dark Station with another Dark Station Plays. As you can see, we're about to dip our toes into Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Not just any version of The Sith Lords, we are playing the Restored Content Modification. Um, those of you who might remember when the game originally came out, it was missing a whole lot of stuff. This is because LucasArts forced the game out to launch when it still needed time to cook. And as a result, there was a lot of cut content, the game was buggy, just not all around a good time. Um, a plucky group of people have gone into the game, discovered all the missing content that was in the game files, and managed to go through and restore much, if not all, that content. And now is the time, I think, to return to the Sith Lords. Um, I really wanted to like this game when it came out, but just all of the issues with it just made it almost impossible to enjoy, um, despite having some really interesting ideas and a really unique take on the Force. So we're going to get started. Dark Station Plays Episode 1 begins now of the Sith Lords. I'm going to create a new game because the beginning is always the best place to start. And I want to be... I think I want to be a Jedi Sentinel. Do I want to be a man or a woman? I'll be a woman, why not? Considering that Jedi Fallen Order does not have a female lead, this one will. So I'm going to do a custom character because after playing, after spending a year and some change playing d and I finally understand what all this means. Um, so let's go ahead and choose a portrait. But I kind of like that one. Okay. Attributes. Okay. I could take the recommended, but I'm going to want stuff in strength, dexterity, height. Dexterity, maybe. Um, I want a good charisma. Do some wisdom. Intelligent. I don't want to be too dumb. Constitution. Yeah. But I think I want to. I think I want to make a more dexterous character. Dexterous and charismatic. Skills. Okay, since I have high charisma, I want persuade. Um, we'll bump some stuff into the class skills here. Feats. Armor proficiency, light, critical. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and bump up the proficiency to medium. Yeah. All right. And let's pick a name. Oh, I'm bad at Star Wars names. Kira. Kira Endak. I like that. That's very Star Warsy. Let's go. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Very familiar. Star Wars! It's a very interesting time for Star Wars. We've got Rise of the Sky... As of this recording, at least. Rise of the Skywalker will be coming out in December, which is next month. Um, and Disney Plus, The Mandalorian, has started, which, uh, so far, again, as of this recording, just watched the first episode. Um, boy, was it good. I really liked it. And... Um, 
So yeah, this is apt, I think. But we are looking at the Sith Lords. It is a perilous time for the galaxy. A brutal civil war has all but destroyed the Jedi Order, leaving the ailing Republic on the verge of collapse. Amid the turmoil, the evil Sith have spread across the galaxy, hunting down and destroying the remaining Jedi Knights. Narrowly escaping in a deadly Sith ambush, the last known Jedi clings to life aboard the battered freighter near the ravaged world of Paragus. The last Jedi, for real. <clears throat> the last Jedi. Last, last Jedi. The second before last Jedi, we'll call them. And... Crawl. Crawl, 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 crawl. John Williams Swell. Pan down? Yeah. Yep, this is a Star Wars game. And there's one of my favorite ships, the Ebon Hawk. Man, that's such a great ship. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Primary power offline. <laughs> Vision. Offline. Multiple hull breaches detected. Proximity alert. The Ebon Hawk is adrift in space after a terrible battle. Most of its crew are dead or dying. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. Hey, that's me. You won't survive long without medical attention. Nice shoes. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored in order to bring the engines online and dock with the nearby Paragus mining station for much needed repairs. Your fate and that of the Ebon Hawk depend upon T3M4, a lone astromech droid. Return to this location at any time to skip the prologue. I am going to continue with it because it's been so long. A S D to T three M. This is the galaxy map. It shows you are near Paragus, a mining colony. When the hyperdrive is fixed, you can use the galaxy map to choose a destination planet. The game is assuming I am using the keyboard, which I'm not, because I tried playing this first with a keyboard and it didn't work. So. You have new Uh -huh. So I gotta find my way around the Xbox controller here, but that's okay. Doesn't seem too bad. Party inventory. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cool. And the game has just locked up on me. That's not cool. Okay, and we're back. Um, small technical problem. Um, small radiation leak, but everything's fine. How are you guys? So we're back. Oh, this is inverted. We can't have this. Gameplay. Um, Okay, Evan Hawk Communications console is damaged. So I'm gonna slice the system. Not enough spikes. Perfect. You will come across many containers, some of which will be locked. Okay. Let's try it again. Now that I have the spike. Success! I bypass the compressor. This is the main hole. I'm 
no spikes. You can hear a banging noise coming from the other side of the door to the storage compartment, but the door is sealed shut and cannot be opened from the outside. This old woman appears to be dead. There is a key card on the body that looks like it opens a locker somewhere. This blast door is magnetically stuff. sealed and cannot be opened. While some doors can be bashed open or cut open with a lightsaber or cutting tool, some doors require the use of the security skill to open. Use your security skill from the action bar to open this door. Find many parts and lines to use for accessing and repairing the hyperdrive. Use the lift controls to go up. This go is the utility up. lift. You yep. can use this lift. Yes, I get I get it. Space. Puts mines on top of a ship. I'm no space engineer, but... This is the starboard side of the Ebon Hawk. This open hatch has some parts that will be useful for getting main power restored. Don't forget to explore the other... This is the port side. The bubbles ahead indicate mines that you've detected automatically with your awareness skill. Some mines require higher awareness to detect. Approach mines carefully. They will blow up and damage you if you get too close. You can use your demolition skill to either disable or recover these mines. Recovering mines requires a higher demolition skill than disabling them. But you get to keep the mine, which you can then use to set as a trap for enemies or break down into components at a workbench. Mm -hmm. Explosive device in this missile to blow open the engine room door inside the Ebon Hawk. This will give you access to the hyperdrive. Mm -hmm. Got it. You can use the explosive device in this missile to blow open the engine room door. It's an door overly helpful computer. You can use this lip to take you back. Y yes. I. Yes. <laughs> damaged and cannot be opened with your security skill or by bashing it. You can use a mine to open Run! This is the engine room. The port engine is shut down but appears intact. Fixing the hyperdrive will allow you to restore power to the port engine. The hyperdrive is suffering badly. You won't be able to make the jump to light speed needs food until badly. it is fully repaired, <clears throat> and you do not have the needed equipment here on the Ebon Hawk. However, you should be able to rig the hyperdrive to restore primary power and bring the port engine online. This will allow you to dock with the Paragus mining station for full repairs. Sure. Failure. You do not have enough parts. Get more parts. The starboard engine is badly damaged. Mm -hmm. Fixing it won't be possible until after this is the garage. There is a hull breach in the area beyond this door. Safety protocols prevent you from opening it manually. Try using the security computer. Ready? Do, 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 do. This is the main hole. Yes, you've said as much. I do not have spikes. Security skill is too 
Beat the thing. Take that. Take that. Oh, how could you miss? Sometimes I got smashing break. or blowing open the container will break some of the items in the container. Hope that wasn't important. Security cameras. Uh huh. No. Uh -huh. Nothing too out of the ordinary. There's our lift door. Access security doors. Close outer. Oh, wait, no. I want that. Okay. And open. Oh. Okay. Close outer. Then open. Okay. Yo, Talking buddy. To other characters is much like using the Note that some responses mm -hmm. yep, I get it. <coughs> 3 CFD is malfunctioning. You can fix him by using a part. If Sweet. you repair 3 CFD, he can join your party and assist you in repairing the Great. Success. You Do this. We'll open. Nope. We'll open. Close inner. And then open. Uh huh. And then. Look out so we can switch. Did you come out with me? Dude. This is the main hold. Alright. So oh. this is the main hold. Yep. Stay here, buddy. Okay. Quick save. I'll do that. Um, okay. Solo. There we go. This is the garage. Okay. Cool. This is the main hole.
Okay, security doors. So we're going to close outer garage door. And open inner. A lot of this is just trying to figure out what the analog is for the... This is the... Key, the keypad, or the controller as opposed to the keyboard. The sparking wires connect to the trigger mechanism for the inner and outer garage doors. You can open and close the doors from here. Convenient. Workbench. This is a workbench. Mm -hmm. With a workbench, you can break down objects in your inventory into components. You can then use the components to create repair kits, weapons, armor, and upgrades. Because of the damage to the Ebon Hawk, this workbench has limited functionality. You can use the workbench to break down... Cool. All right. Uh, to create, I want to do repair kits. It tells me I don't. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Oh, well, okay. Hmm. You lied to me. This blast door is magnetically sealed. When the Ebon Hawk has landed, this is where you will go to exit the ship. This, this is the star. The star is sealed shut, but the magnetic clamps are not engaged. You may be able to override the door's locking. This is the garage. Okay, so then I'm gonna do this guy. He's gonna come over here. And use the utility lift. You can use it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, came along. This is the starboard side of the Evan Hawk. Control the door to the starboard door. Success. Great. This busted engine port has some needed parts for the Evan Hawk's hyperdrive. Take the parts here back down below to get. You can use this. There we go. Off to 
Paragus. Now plot a course to the Paragus mining station. To dock with Paragus, left click on the Paragus planet to select it. The sensors show the door to the storage compartment is being sliced. There is someone, or something, else alive on the Ebon Hawk. Who could it be? Let's go check it out. Uh oh. <laughs> Excellent. And that's through the prologue. I think we'll go ahead and stop there just to start with a little bit of a tease. Um, but yeah, going forward, you stick around uh, to the Dark Station YouTube station. Um, Dark Station YouTube station, that doesn't make any sense. Dark Station's YouTube channel um, for uh, this playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2. And. Um, we're just gonna go, uh, chapter one, Paragus. Oop, that's not gonna fit. All right. So, um, yeah, stick around. Um, this series will get updated as much as it can. I'm not going to commit to a schedule just yet, but, um, yeah. Come along on this journey with me to replay Knights of the Old, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, the modded, um, restored content version. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a pleasant day.